Hello everyone, E here, and it's time to continue our little journey of making the perfect three broomstick smoke, part two, coming up. Just look at this mess, it's like a crazy raccoon lives in this room. But anyway, uh, hopefully soon I'll be able to have time to actually take everything where it's supposed to be. So this working environment is actually looks properly and tidy once again. Let's get back to the three broomsticks. Now, first, let's walk you through all the little changes that have happened since last time. I have increased the... Uh, length over here on the longer side by four studs total two on this side another two on this side that is mainly due to the second floor which i will show you in a little bit once i place it uh, on top of this it's just the math didn't pan out and i tried to make it work and it turns out that just four more studs was not the end of the world plus it actually makes more room for the interior which i talked about last time and yeah this uh, what else can i show you here the chairs that i talked last time about here are one of the chair uh, models that i figured out how to do i feel like this is the this is a good way to actually uh, save some space and actually be Practical looks all right from the back as well doesn't take much space a little bit more than two studs uh, Two need to stand uh, one against each other Six studs maybe five depends on when the where the stud here is positioned on the floor and what I'm thinking about is Doing the same now this is the test module that I did initially, but you can do basically the same chair with a different piece, which is, uh, I think they're used for bicycles and stuff, but these are pretty much similar. But you can do kind of the same effect and still have this little variety of uh, the chairs, as we've mentioned before, the chairs and the three broomsticks are not necessarily all identical. And also, as we're talking about chairs, I have this other one that is done like this. And for the time being, I have it with only one stud as a leg. So it might be something a bit different, just doesn't look right with four studs representing legs. And uh, the reason there is a dark tan over here is because the floor will be dark tan and I always... Uh, place it over here as I need to have uh, keep in consideration the floor end of the day but these are this these pieces here especially in this color are a bit more difficult to find and kind of expensive so I think these will be used uh, to a lesser extent but I like it so over here not really all that much has changed but I did spend about three or four hours on doing these um this cut wood here this chopped wood for the fireplace which i believe i have improved a little bit by adding this angle here and just make it a little bit more complicated but still keeping that simplistic module and over here i've used like a stud to position this as i didn't want to use the wall and this is supposed to represent uh, chopped wood that is uh, stored near the fireplace and I've used uh, mainly black uh, pieces just to conceal really all the mess that's inside and the reason that stands a little bit weird as you can see on the other side here uh, it's because it's floating kind of midair at the moment because the floor is still not positioned but once it is it will actually be straight I feel like uh, this does the job pretty well and uh, the, here it's a little bit more uh, 
uh, complicated or different to the other one as we have these additional pieces of wood that are in between the fireplace and the storage compartment, if you want to call it that. Also done some little cosmetic changes, change a little bit these uh, sticking out studs so the weight of the above floor is positioned better. Uh, also hidden this a little bit better, added once here, I believe they weren't there before, just to accommodate the second floor um, as perfect as it could be. And obviously these pieces here, I don't have them in the right color right now, so I kept them like this, just to remind myself I need to order and acquire additional ones for the time being. Over here, uh, not really much has changed as the interior, all the little details still need to be placed, but uh, I want really to get the chairs right, as you can see, all these chairs are still here, I've ordered parts to actually make plenty of these chairs. So once we cover everything like that and see how the spacing will be and how exactly the tables will be positioned depending on that available space, I will probably put the flooring, which most likely will be a mistake, but I will put at least some of the flooring and then add some more details. Plus this time around, I really want to focus on the second floor because it's really the most difficult part of this whole venture. I want to figure out how the windows will be, how the roof will be, and it's not the finished product, but a lot of thinking has gone uh, into that process. And let's get you through that and show you what exactly I have done and what I'm planning to do in order to finish it. Here we are with the second floor place. Now, before over here, you remember we had uh, some of these kind of uh, half plates, half tiles but it turns out this will be heavy enough and the way it is kind of slots in, so it's not gonna go anywhere. So I found it was pointless to have them, so I removed all of them. And also, see how the door here, uh, this uh, central piece, it turns out it was a little bit one step to the side compared to the uh, staircase over here. So I decided to move the staircase that is facing exactly the door. So this space here really supports the staircase inside and I feel like that was a good change to make. As for the framework, it uh, really is a skeleton really still. Uh, I don't have enough of these windows so I have placed this composition of pieces just to represent the space that this kind of window will take. It's really important to maximize as best as I can the height difference of all these windows here. In comparison, they also need to reflect in a particular way according to the uh, support here in the middle. It's still not exactly perfect, but I believe that uh, I have figured out the way to do it. Also, it needs to have the responsible and appropriate uh, distances between the windows. Now, what I am really happy about is that I figured out that uh, the best way to support this whole model and as well to make this whole thing sturdy enough to be able to pick it up so it doesn't fall apart because you have to keep in mind if you turn this over here uh, we have a if you remember there is a whole different section basically we have a plate here that slots right here and we have another one that slots over here and there was a gap so the first thing i did was i covered that whole little skeleton with another layer of plate which now will be uh, the plate underneath the floor. But that way it connects these different uh, two kind of islands of uh, plate. Because before only this side and this side uh, connected them, that wasn't really good enough. This way it is a lot more sturdy. As well, I figured out how exactly to place these uh, distances here. These uh, arches are kind of embedded into this structure, which is very sturdy, same as this side. And also, it, I figured out how to kind of stick these here, uh, make, making them not move really much, very much. And this way, it's very connected to this side, this side, and also the front side here. So the next step would be, now you can see a lot of pieces are in different color. That's because I don't have them in dark tan right now. I just wanted to have them complete and then just simply replace them. The next step would be to finish over here 
and add one additional window I think I believe it's over here and then the main thing would be to build this central kind of pillar of a window connect it over here make it sturdy as well and then after that really figure out how to connect these windows here to the central beam which pretty much I have done but the problem is it will be individual with every one because the altitudes and the heights and everything is different not to mention that um, over here there should be a few additional ones I believe four or five other clumps of windows but one will be to the roof which will be a plate sloping from this side and this side kind of similar to the medieval um, blacksmith over here that I actually have here I feel like this kind of building technique would really suit uh, this uh, this mock and although both of them will be removable this one here since there is so much such big of a cluster of windows uh, will probably I uh, will have to remove uh, most of the windows to remove that plate which is good in a way because they will be keeping the uh, roof plates in place kind of similar to the blacksmith again where one of the sides where the chimney is you kind of you need to remove the chimney uh, in order to remove the roof but from the other side since we will only have one window it will be much more accessible but anyway one will be connected to the plate of the falling roof one will be one or two will be connected to the beam here in the middle uh, and one I have not really figured out how to do it I will try to kind of build up like a little uh, connection here and then use that as a support to connect the other window which is I believe it's over here kind of between the upper part and this window here but if it's too ugly or doesn't really work I might scrap it which I really don't want to do but if uh, it, I feel like it's not really supported in this way of building maybe I'll just make a concession and not make it as good as um, I would like it to be but still we'll see and uh, now over here let me although it's very rough still in my mind let me walk you through what I'm planning really now obviously you come up these staircases uh, these stairs and then We'll have a few tables now. These are really test tables. I'm not really sure if we'll keep this size. I mean, this is really the model of tables that I have as a majority downstairs, but still um, maybe we'll use different ones. Now here we'll have the room where um, the scene in the third Harry Potter film is happening, where Professor McGonagall is talking to the owner and the minister. I'm not sure whether the room will be sealed off here or maybe over here. I don't know how much space I'm going to need, but I don't really want to. Ideally, I wanted to keep from here to the windows. So for now, the door is here. And depending on how much room is left here, there is going to be various tables in different positions. And over here, I have something else planned that I really want to show you. I have done so, so many things with that. With piece but I just decided it's not really ready I like these kind of little projects that I make inside the not necessary fitting into the model in uh, question to kind of be almost finished if not completely finished before I show them but it's going to be something very funny and something that kind of fits here but it's not exactly um, out of a Harry Potter scene let's call it like that but I, I, I feel it's going to be pretty funny so over here either will be sealed off completely um, because it will be kind of an easter egg but not really so I might end up um, because it will be too much trouble to seal this whole thing off from well all four directions it's just not needed so uh, we'll probably just leave it like this kind of an obvious easter egg but it will I feel it will be uh, a nice contribution to this whole second floor now I really wished I had the time to really build on this and uh, show you this uh, kind of state with this whole central thing, uh, beam uh, finished but I just simply didn't have the time and I will not have the time in the next couple of days and my two week period of filming is kind of uh, 
running out. So I'll have to show you that next time, hopefully. But this is the state of it right now. And I'm really happy, uh, although some of the things that I keep encountering is the piece count. I keep thinking that this should have been a lot simpler, but I always go overboard with these kind of projects. And although in my mind, it's still a lot simpler than it could be. It's like this, but <laughs> it just requires a lot of little pieces to order. And these windows, they're not very common. Uh, in the shops in where they're, that are near me, they simply don't, do not exist. And even the shops that I really buy from, they are very rare. I don't know. Uh, it shouldn't be a rare piece, but it just I don't have them right now. And I don't have them ordered either because I can't seem to find them. But that's a small problem. We'll keep it like this. And one, one, uh, one day we'll just um, replace them hopefully soon before this is all finished. But at the time being, it looks a bit weird. Now, uh, over here, I'm not really sure if I am to keep mm, this in tan because although in all the pictures I see the color that's in between the little roofs and the windows is lighter than the color of the building, which would indicate that it should be tan, I might end up making it either maybe light bluish gray or maybe just keep it tan. Maybe even medium nougat would be better, but it will be something that will be replaced uh, as things go on. So what I'm planning to do really is to really focus my attention on building this central beam and then uh, connect all these windows to the um, back the, the pillar here the, on the middle beam. And once all that is done, I'm going to focus all my attention to really doing the interior, finish it up, both uh, downstairs and upstairs. And uh, the last thing that I'm gonna do is the sloping um, roof, which uh, should be easier than I think. I'm gonna cover it with snow with a white plate so it's going to be probably dark bluish gray and then I'm going to cover it with um, with a bit of white to know how much, but uh, I want to keep the snowy motif kind of going. Other than that, uh, I feel like this is it. Um, really wanted to show you a little bit more, but I simply did not really have all that much time. And the time I did spend, uh, I actually went back quite a few times to um, figure out the height here, I was using different slopes, using a different technique before, but it really was important to have this whole thing being sturdy. It really, I hate when I pick something up, Lego model uh, or a random mock or anything just for pieces to fall down or the thing to fall into, uh, fall apart in my hands. It's really frustrating for me. So for me, it's very important uh, for that to be um, like first priority or at least one of the top priorities. So in this way, over here and over here is very sturdy. The middle section is sturdy and the connections will also be sturdy. And uh, even picking this up and placing it, um, you don't have to be extremely careful. It fits really nicely. Uh, being connected everywhere in multiple spots really supports this pocket that um, it needs to slot in. So uh, that's very, very important for me. And I feel like this uh, is a nice uh, concession. Now, obviously, with more pieces and kind of surrendering um, the stability for a, bit of, a little bit more uh, complex modeling, it would look better. But once again, I don't really want to go too far um, over the edge with this thing. I just want it to look uh, nice. And for one day, once we get to extending the Hogwarts uh, scene and building Fox meat. Uh, I just want to have something really nice that I've built and I'm happy with. Here is also a uh, shot of the second floor from underneath. So this is what I mean. Before we had only these plates here, the light bluish uh, ones and these ones here. So basically there was a slot here. These were fitting here and the rest was fitting here with a hole between the staircase and the door. That means there was a hole here and a hole here where this beam kind of uh, goes and it needs to slot into two different things, which means it was kind of flaky. 
but since we added a, another layer of paint above, it connects everything together. In addition to the two rows of bricks here and two rows of bricks here, so that way it just doesn't really move around. And once everything was clumped together, uh, it really slots in perfectly, in my opinion. And that's, um, I think, a good way to go with uh, building that this uh, this magnitude. And the black plate here is just to support uh, the additional plate over here. And also, it's very important to be placed as it is, as it needs to avoid all these supports here. It needs to be between everything accordingly. And that's about it for me for uh, the time being. Hopefully, in the next two weeks, I will have uh, some more time to finish up the exterior, really almost have it all completed. Um, in, with the exception of some little tweaks here and there, and I'll be able to focus on the interior as well. So hopefully it will be a lot of uh, new things on both fronts. So until then, thank you for watching all these videos and supporting me. Your comments are always very appreciated. And if you want to uh, hang with me, you can join me on Discord, subscribe on YouTube, or check my Instagram for some photos that are a little bit more detailed than my shaky camera work. Anyway, I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and bye for now.